We're just about to hop on to one of the highest cable cars in the world. We're already at like 3,000 meters. This cable car is gonna take us to 3,925. So hopefully we've acclimatized and there's no altitude sickness in our future. Let's go. Okay, that ride was certainly not 18 minutes and it is noticeably chillier up here. <laughs> How do you feel? Are you gonna pass out? No. We don't really, we don't really know what there is to do up here. There's like cafes, little store here selling uh, dog jackets <laughs> and uh, jackets. human jackets too. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna explore around, see if we can find, I think there's some swings up here. You, the views of the city are absolutely incredible. So we're gonna go for a little walkie poo and see what we can find. A lot of dogs up here, Felicia's loving it. So bright up here but at the same time really cloudy. Very difficult to get the right exposure. Yeah, there's a bit of a line. There's some swings up here we want to go to and just be some typical basic B Taurus. What do you think? Did we get the basic B Taurus photo? I think we showed we're in a very high elevation. <laughs> you got it, right? So we're just Enjoy a nice cup of coffee on the top of a 4,000 meter high mountain and uh, then we'll head up and get some swing shots. Pretty hard to beat this coffee view though. <sighs> I got some trees kind of blocking the way but ooh, check this out. Very, very cool up here. Both cool as in nice and cool as in temperature. Definitely a good spot to hang out. Pretty unmatched views. We were just saying how hard you normally have to work to get to 4,000 meters of elevation. Normally takes a lot of hiking, but you just take a gondola up here, have a beer, have an empanada, you're good. You don't have to do any work. Stunning view though. We're gonna go check out of this little uh, hut down here. It has some nice snacks. All right, let's get some snacks. So many choices. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola. Uh, Te ayudo. Dos uh, empanada. Queso uh, pollo. Uh, de, de viento. De viento. Sí. Yeah. Uh, queso, sí. Yeah. De viento. <laughs> Gracias. Made fresh. Woo. So you order right there, but then they got the kitchen right here with the ladies working away. So while I wait for my uh, deliciously fresh empanadas, show you guys the little horse track they got here. Horse pen, horse whatever. Pretty cool. I mean, I know some people feel iffy about horse riding, but these horses look really healthy. And in all honesty, it seems like, I don't know, I feel like in Ecuador, everything's really taken care of. Like the bathrooms here are super clean. Everything's just nice, even down in the city. Like it's a very clean city. It seems like people who really like to look after their stuff. Some of these horses looking super healthy and chunky too. Like, look at this guy. Hola amigo. Hola. Hola. Oh, very nice. Tu nombre, amigo. Yeah, see, these horses don't look anxious or like they're not having a good time. Super friendly horses. 
I just saw that lady run uh, my empanadas over to Felicia, so let's go eat some snacks. Ooh. Okay. We do, the only thing we don't have is the spicy sauce. I'm sure it's good. Oh my God, that looks delicious. It looks like, uh, for any Canadians out there watching this, it looks like a beaver tail. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm. Fresh as can be. So good. Okay, well, that was delicious. Now Felicia <laughs> wants to see the horsies. She doesn't want to miss out, so. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> yeah, horses have to poo too, baby. I know, but it's so stinky. <laughs> I wonder where the guy is. Oh, he's here. This, this one's nice. I was petting him. Como se llama, amigo? Eh, Jalisco. 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 Hola, Jalisco. Hola. He's very nice. Just yeah, approach slowly. Scared. Just approach him slowly. Hey, boy. Hi, Jalisco. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, go closer. He's not going to hurt you. Hey. Nope. He doesn't like me. <laughs> he does. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's just curious. <laughs> See? See, he's fine. <laughs> Well, super nice food, really lovely area to chill up there. Overall, just super great place to come on a weekend or during the week. It's beautiful. I mean, we lucked out with the weather. It would be pretty cold up here on a rainy day. But uh, if you got a bit of sun, Excellent, excellent place to come up for the day. And do the hike. Yeah, we didn't really bring our hiking gear. Um, I don't know, I guess we were more planning on just hanging out, but you can hike all the way up. Hey, you can hike pretty much all the way up there. We got a lot of hikers actually coming down with some pretty big bags. So great hiking around here too, or if you're like us and a lot of other people, you can just come up and chill. Anyways, we are now going to head back down because we're gonna try to get to one of the markets in Centro. Felicia's got a big appetite for Ecuadorian food. <laughs> so are you. Yeah, I gotta say, those empanadas we've had so far, um, I don't know, Ecuador's coming in strong, man. I don't want to insult any other Latin American countries, but it's fierce competition out here. Okay, we've made it to the market now after some crazy driving. We always forget in Catholic countries that on Sundays things are either completely shut or close way earlier than usual. Google said they shot at two here. It is now 1.53, but I think they don't really have set hours. I, I think they'll be open a bit later. We're gonna find out. Okay, so pretty nice. Oh, very clean. Smells very fishy right where we were just standing. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, mostly food, which is good because that's kind of what we came here to do anyways was eat. Uh, there is some fruit and veggies and stuff, but we were recommended some dishes from a local, so we are just gonna try a bunch of stuff. We're gonna absolutely destroy our stomachs right now. Are you ready? No. All right, we found our first victim. We're gonna get a soup that is apparently, we're super lucky, it's only served around the time of Holy Week, which is this week in Ecuador. Uh, so we lucked out. This is a dish they literally only sell for like a few weeks a year. It's a soup with like a million different meats and whatever in it. So number one. Amazing. Really good. Yeah. It's like really thick and hearty. You're probably not gonna like this. I think it's a salted fish. And this is the plantain. 
Um, I think two plantains, hard boiled egg, probably like deep fried, crunchy bread, cheese, and lentils. It is very much like a seafood chowder, very hearty. Not super seafoody, but a little hint of seafood. Very good. How much was it? Five. Five bucks? Not cheap, but it's a big portion. Yeah. We're probably gonna be full after. Yeah, I don't think we can eat this. <laughs> this will be the only thing we eat. Okay, time for a bit of honesty. We ate too many empanadas on the mountain. And so we literally could not, we couldn't even finish that bowl of Francesca. It was really delicious, but Felicia was about to explode. I definitely can't eat anymore, so we've decided we're gonna walk home now. Digest. Loud motorbike. And I have also decided that this is where this episode is gonna end. So I will leave you with a quick montage of a different part of Quito City on our way home. See you in the Galapagos.